wall-hung shelf, one with visible brackets like this, or a floating shelf where the supporting brackets are hidden. In this video, we will show you how to put up both a floating shelf and a bracketed shelf. You'll find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of the video. Once you've decided where to put the shelf, the first essential step is to check the area for pipes and cables using a pipe and cable detector. Slowly move it back and forth over the area you wish to check, and it will alert you if there are pipes or cables. Check the manufacturer's instructions for specifics on the use of your device. You need to know what kind of wall you're fixing the shelf to, such as masonry or stud, for example. You also need to think about the weight of the shelf and its contents. Floating shelves are not suitable for really heavy items, so if you do want to display heavy items, it might be best to go for a shelf with brackets. To get the strongest shelves, it's best to drill into masonry walls. Masonry walls are typically made of brick or concrete block. Alternatively, you can drill into the timber studs in stud walls. You can locate your timber studs using a 3-in-1 pipe cable and stud detector. It's not advisable to fit shelving to hollow areas of stud walls, as it won't be strong enough. We're fixing our shelf to a masonry wall. How to put up a floating shelf. Once you've decided where you want your shelf and checked for pipes and cables, begin by placing one of the wall brackets at the required height. Make sure any securing holes on the arm of the bracket are at the bottom, otherwise the screws will be visible and your shelf will be upside down. Measure the distance for the next bracket and using a spirit level, mark its position. Ensure it's 100% level with the previous mark, otherwise you'll have a slanting shelf. Mark the length of your wall plugs on your drill bit using tape. Put goggles on and drill holes in the wall where your marks are. For masonry walls, it may help to switch the drill into hammer mode, as it can sometimes be quite difficult to drill through stone and brick. Then, insert the appropriate wall plugs for the type of wall you're screwing into. We're using the Wix wall plugs. Tap them gently with a hammer if needed so that they sit flush with the wall. It's unnecessary to use wall plugs if you're screwing into timber studs. Now, fix the bracket in place. Then, slide the shelf onto the brackets and secure it onto the bracket arm from the underside. And that's it. Your floating shelf is ready to use. How to put up a bracketed shelf. Once you've decided where you want your shelf and check for pipes and cables, begin by placing one of the wall brackets at the required height. Make sure it's level using a spirit level and mark the top of the bracket and where the holes in the brackets are on your wall. Measure the distance for the next bracket and using a spirit level, mark its position. Again, ensure it's 100% level with the previous mark, otherwise you'll have a slanting shelf. Place the other wall bracket at the required height, double check its level and mark where the holes in the brackets are on your wall. Then. Mark the length of your wall plugs on your drill bit using tape. Put goggles on and drill holes in the wall where your marks are. For masonry walls, it may help to switch the drill into hammer mode, as it can sometimes be quite difficult to drill through stone and brick. Then, insert the appropriate wall plugs for the type of wall you're screwing into. Tap them gently with a hammer if needed, so that they sit flush with the wall. It's unnecessary to use wall plugs if you're screwing into timber studs. Now, fix the brackets in place. Double check they are level. Then, position the shelf board making sure it's centered on the brackets and mark the position of the fixing screws using the holes on the brackets. Drill pilot holes in the shelf, ensuring you don't drill all the way through the board. Now, attach the board with screws and your shelf is ready. Here are the tools you will need to put up a shelf. And here are the materials you will use. And this is the safety equipment.